American soldiers are well trained and physically fit, but they're still vulnerable. The human machine gets tired, needs rest, and performs only within the limitations of flesh and bones. But Rex Jameson here is stepping inside a robotic exoskeleton that mirrors or mimics everything he wants to do. 200 pound pull downs, no sweat. We did this 500 times till we got bored, so I could basically do it, you know, ad nauseum. And you're talking, you're not even out of breath now. No. Not out of breath, not weary, no muscle pains or strains. If Rex needs to pull away from the exoskeleton to do something on his own, it just floats and waits for his return. I can, you know, go ahead and do whatever I need to do. And, and when you're ready to then when I'm ready, just grab it and away we go. It's taken Utah-based Sarcos six years to get to this point, but the technicians and engineers here who've pulled this off have been designing and polishing robots for decades. Each one of these ammo cans weighs 72 pounds. Imagine trying to lift 150 to 200 of these onto this pallet. Commanding his exoskeleton, Rex does it. In this round robin, lifting 35 pound canisters. Several of us moving as fast as we can can't keep up. Look at Steve Emero's forehead. How worn out are you oh, right now? I don't feel like I could keep going, but I bet Rex can. Lifting 200 pound weights, piece of cake. Walking upstairs, no problem. Running, walking on your heels, prancing and dancing, taking on a ramp, the list goes on. Meshed with exoskeleton, Rex punches this bag with just the right amount of strength. From enough grace to gently play ball, to enough superpower to load a missile on an airplane. Exoskeleton does it all. He uses get out of way of control, which, which follows from his end effectors, the feet and the hands, and the machine will just follow where he goes. During these experiments, the prototype is tethered. There's also a safety line as a precaution, but the end product will be 100% portable with its own backpack power. And the skeletons in various models will be covered, offering different levels of protection for the soldier inside. Circuitry boards for every part of the body. Flexible robotic joints that mimic every movement. Eventually, exoskeletons could even become autonomous, allowing the soldier to step out, then to go on and perform a task on its own. If you step out of it, it becomes a humanoid robot. If you step into it, it becomes a teleoperated robot. It becomes a superhero, superhuman strength. 